Welcome to Star Techies. In this video, I will be upgrading my SQL MariaDB 10.4 to 10.6 on Alma Linux 8. We are using CWP CentOS web panel and most of the CMS such as WordPress, Joomla require at least 10.5 or higher version of MariaDB and that's the reason we are upgrading it. So let's get started with upgrade process. So here we are logged into our desktop of our server. So let me go to my Mozilla Firefox. So here you can see that we have already installed our control panel that that is CWP control panel. So let me log in. So as we are on our CWP dashboard. So here you can see that we have a MySQL version of 10.4.34 MariaDB. So here what we are going to do, we are going to upgrade this version to the 10.6. First of all, what we have to do is we have to backup our databases. So I'm just going to connect with my server through Putty. So here is my IP and my port, which I have used my custom port. So I'm trying to log in with my root and the password I'm typing. So here you can see that now I'm logged into my server machine. Before installing, it is recommended to backup our databases. Firstly, we will backup our config file and we will use the command this. So we will run this command to backup our CNF file. Now let's go ahead and go to the step two where we will remove our old MariaDB version. In order to do that, now let's stop the MySQL services with this command. So here you can see that SQL services stopped so if we are using Galeria for any cases, you know, it completely depends if someone has uh, installed Galeria. So we can also stop that. In our case, we didn't. So it will show the error. So we do not have Galeria here. Now the last command which we will use that is to remove MariaDB. Through this command, you can see you will be removed and it will ask for your permission. You just simply need to press Y in order to give the permission to remove it hit enter and now it will remove and you can see that it is removed at this point our MariaDB version is removed but the databases are still there so you don't have to worry your databases are secure over there let's move further to the step 3 where we will be installing the new MariaDB version in my case I'm using 10.6 so I will be installing 10.6 MariaDB version. You can upgrade the latest one or whatever the version you require. In order to install MariaDB versions 10.6, we need a repo file. So we will create a package repository. Here I'm using yum command. In your case, if you want to use apt, if you are on Ubuntu or any Debian version, so you can use apt instead of yum. So let's go ahead and configure the yum package repository. So if you are logged in as a administrator or root, you can simply go with the, this command yum install we get. If you are not, you can simply use sudo before yum and then proceed with the command. So here I have typed yum install wget, press enter. It will ask for the download, press yes. Now we will get the predefined MariaDB repository. So we will use this command. So once you are done, so MariaDB setup is saved. After that, we will go ahead and use this command. Press enter. So you can see the MariaDB setup is okay. Now we will give the permission to the MariaDB setup. Press enter. As mentioned, I'm using 10.6 MariaDB. So I have mentioned the version name 10.6. You can do whatever the version you want to install. You can simply add it and change the version here. Then press enter. Yeah, it will be checking for the scripts which are already on the repo file and you can see it is done so in this command i have set up the mariadb 10.6 repo and it is successfully set up now we will go ahead and do the clean all and then install the mariadb from that repo which we recently set up so let's go ahead and clean we will use this command as you can see it was already removed so it says zero file removed now we will go ahead and install that mariadb so Use this command and press enter. So it will take some time in order to download all the files. Meanwhile, if you will go ahead and check server and refresh it, you can say it is broken because you do not have any MySQL databases or MySQL server over there. 
so here you can see that it is still downloading the required file it will take some time it completely depends on your internet speed and your computer setup so let's wait for it so as you can see the process is completed and even if you will check my background you can see we are back if we will refresh it so we are again back so it is completely here so now you can also see MySQL version is updated from 10.4 to 10.6.19 which is we required so now let's go back to the putty here we will update yum command we will run this here it will it is showing me the downloadable size which will also again take time so as you can see our other packages are updated using the yum update command so now our next step is to restore my cnf file which we recently backed up so in order to do that firstly run this command now this once it is done we will enable mariadb to start on boot and start their services in order to enable the mariadb on the start you can use this command and you can see that we will start the mysql services and so this command it is done now let's go ahead and check after installation as we needed to upgrade our current database so we will use this command press enter so i think there i did the mistake it is not capital m it is a small m and we will go with the mysql underscore upgrade all in small words press enter so here you can see that it is running and now it is done once it's all done you can simply verify your version by typing my sql and press enter so here you can see that you have a mariadb version 10.6.19 which is on already on your server now as mariadb is successfully installed so now i'm going to exit from the putty and as we are on here and our database is working perfectly we have everything running smoothly i hope you like this video let's meet in next video